No, not that one. Lucasfilm is known for being the creator of one of the most famous franchises of all time, Star Wars. But those are still not the only films they have made. Now, most of you are probably thinking of Indiana Jones, but those still aren't the only ones I'm referring to. Willow is a great film made by Lucasfilm that you need to watch. Hello everyone, this is Fictional Fanatics, and this is why you should watch Willow. Normally, as I start these videos, what is Willow? Willow is a fantasy movie made by Lucasfilm with a Disney Plus series following it up in 2022. It is similar to the world of Lord of the Rings, but is diff different enough to distinguish. It is about an evil queen who is hunting down a baby who would grow up to end her rule and a Nuelven dwarf called Willow Uffgood trying to protect the baby. Released in 1988, the visual effects don't look stellar but improve throughout the movie. I recently watched it and it was a blast. It is about a two hour movie and has a very complex story but it's paced very well. A lot of times with a film like this you could be having just expedition, exposition dumps everywhere or pacing issues but it's not here. The story itself is really good. Though it is similar to Lord of the Rings as stated earlier, it feels distinct from any other type of film, or even just film in general. It is a mix of so many genres and types of films. You have fantasy elements, medieval, adventure, and just so much more. And all the characters are written really well. The queen is a great evil queen character type, and she just feels so evil and sinister, where she will leave behind anyone just for her own cause. Willow has a nice arc throughout the film, and as he grows more attached to the baby. He is just a really kind-hearted character that you'll really grow to like. And there are so many more great characters that I will talk about in the spoiler part of the video. The world-building aspect is also very unique. You have all the normal fantasy creatures like trolls and a few others, but you also have a lot of unique creatures and settings. Just like in Star Wars, you get a small explanation of what's going on at the beginning, and then you're just thrown into the story. It works great because Willow is new to the world out of his village, so you can see the story through his perspective. And one last thing, although many fantasy films can be overly lore-heavy in a big universe just for a new fan to get into, at the moment of writing the script, it is only the film and then soon the series. It is a great introduction to the fan fantasy genre and a great film overall. So if you don't want to watch it, I suggest you should get a good opinion. Now to the review. Spoiler alert! Wee woo! Wee woo! Spoiler! Wee woo! Wee woo! Spoiler! If you choose to watch this, you are not cool. You are a big stinky dum dum. Wee woo! Wee woo! SPOILER! To start off, I loved the opening. You see a bunch of mothers who have a look of terror on their face because one of their babies is going to be taken away and killed. Then you, have the serf, or into t then you have the servant taking the baby away just to get cornered, putting the baby back in the river like Moses, and then she means she's killed. It shows the ruthlessness of the queen and her army and sets up the stakes for the movie. One part I didn't like is the introduction of Willow. He wants to send the baby back down the river um, when he finds her, and I mean, that's just a bit overtly mean. And the whole seed plot didn't go far, I mean, it didn't affect the story much, uh, but hopefully we'll see a bit more of that in the show, developed a bit more. The townsfolk were interesting, I liked the scene with the wizard, if not a bit obvious that it was my own finger. The fact that, that the gathering disbanded so quickly when they met Matt Mardigan really shocked me. It And it was funny th how throughout the whole debate between the fat guy and Willow, you just hear him cheering on the fat guy in the background. Matt Mardigan's a really interesting character because he starts out this jerk, douchebag, uh, mercenary type guy, but grows to be a more kind-hearted and loving, whether it's to the baby or the girl. And one thing I found interesting was when we gave the baby to Matt Mardigan, I thought we might start following him. I thought it might be a bit more of an anthology style movie following the different characters, but with the baby being a constant throughout all of the different characters. But it wasn't and it's fine. When we saw the brownies, I laughed at how bad they looked at first, but was glad it wasn't just some Native American-esque enemy for Willow to fight. I didn't really like how the two ones became part of the main cast, but they weren't too annoying. And when we found Mad Mardigan in the bar, that was another funny scene, and how he fooled everyone, 
and when he met Sorsha, I knew they'd get together just then. The twists were pretty easy to predict, but not necessarily in a bad way. When we see Mad Mardigan starting to care about the baby, that was cool, and so is the twist with the sorceress being a rat. It was, surprising. it was surprising that the group got caught before even the middle of the movie, but again, it was funny how the brownies just came and broke the characters out later. The flirting with Sorsha and her tent wasn't funny, but when it was reciprocated and they kissed as the temp was falling, that was interesting and also kind of funny. And when they kidnap her later on and she making fun of Bad Mardigan for what, she, what he said under the love potion thing, I enjoyed that. The castle siege was a really cool scene, from the twist of it being abandoned to Mad Mardigan's battle prep to Willow turning the troll into a hydra, Mad Mardigan killing it and killing Sorsha. It was overall a great sequence, and how the enemy captured the baby at the end upped the tension a lot. Once they were camping outside the castle, it was really cool to see the queen just come out, mock them, and then use her magic which willow resisted the pig transformation was a gruesome scene and showed the queen's wickedness and when willow transformed the sorceress to an old woman um i saw that coming once mad mardigan cheered on willow and that was a whole young woman thing but i mean it was fine the whole entrance strategy to the castle was brilliant with them hiding under the tarps the battle was well choreographed and especially up in the tower against the queen how she didn't care about her daughter and started torturing her, the sorceress not being strong enough to defeat her, and then to have this character who's been mocked throughout the movie for having little worth to defeat the queen with a little magic trick was so brilliant. And then the finale of Willow going back home to have a quiet life, learning to be a sorcerer, was a great finale. Overall, uh, although a few minor problems, Willow is a great overall movie, which is definitely underrated. I really liked, and if you haven't watched it, then didn't you see the spoiler alert? Come on, guys. Spoiler alert! That means don't watch it unless you watched it. You get it? So disappointed. But anyways, thanks for watching, and what did you think of Willow? Let me know in the comments down below, unless you were one of those people who didn't watch the movie and still watch the video. But anyways, until the next one, bye!